Ser feliz nunca me ha salido caro eh, Ahora veo todo So I have my eyebrows done I'm gonna like fix them a little bit throughout the thing because they're looking I don't know how they're looking but um today I'm doing like my full makeup so my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time I'm gonna be starting off with that and I'm also like I said going to talk about my how college has been going for me while I do my makeup and then I'll be leaving like the products I'll be leaving them like down here so that you guys can know what I'm putting on my face but I'm gonna start off by talking about first semester like it seems like it was really far away but I um academically first semester was really really good I ended the semester with a 3.94 GPA and it was really good academically like I was just very focused and everything but like in terms of the other aspects like my social and my emotional I was not doing too well like I was I didn't have my car and so I was on the campus all weekend, every weekend, and during the week, and I didn't have like anything to do. I was always just doing homework. And I was having like a lot of trouble adjusting. I was very, very homesick, and I wanted to come home every five seconds, but I couldn't because I did not have my car. And it was, it was bad. And I was, my face started to break out a lot too because of the stress of you know just being being away from everybody i was just having a lot of trouble adjusting and i was not i'm a very introverted person so <laughs> when it came to talking to people and making friends it was not going too well in that department either i was very i didn't make any friends first semester the only person that i really talked to was probably like my roommate and that was probably about it and here and there some people that I had like projects with and stuff like that but it really wasn't anything anything too serious church as you probably know is a very important part of my life and so I did not have a car like I said first semester so I didn't really get to visit churches like I would have liked to and I ended up staying in just one church the whole time and I did not at first I liked the church but then it started to decline over time and i was having a really rough time i wasn't excited to go to church i was very i felt i felt really really alone there like there's just so many things that were wrong and that's not something that you want to be feeling when you're by when you feel like you're by yourself you know and so i was struggling i really was and so i came home for winter break for a month and when i went back i was able to take my car and everything completely transformed like a hundred percent i found a church i took my car to new jersey and so i found a church that the story of that is literally amazing like god is just so good but ever since i've been at that church he's just been working in such amazing ways in my life and the pastor and the people that i have met at that church are really propelling me into spiritual growth and all kinds of other things and i'm extremely happy that they've like plugged me in to different different communities and have allowed me to meet a ton of new people which is something that i also needed because i didn't make any friends first semester so making friends this semester was very important to me as well i did also get hired at american eagle and i'm very excited about that because having not having money is really not the moves like you cannot do anything when you don't have any money and so that's that was not a fun time for semester I didn't have a job and so even if I did get invited places I wouldn't have been able to go because I didn't have any money I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to talk about first semester oh so I also had a roommate first semester and I was like very concerned because since I was an only child all this time I was like literally panicking hyperventilating about the fact that i was going to have a roommate and i thought that it was going to be a lot worse than it actually is i'm very happy with my roommate we actually are going to be roommates next year but she's puerto rican she's really nice and we're able to speak spanish to each other which i love so much and she's just very nice very clean very organized and everything that i would have wanted out of a roommate for my first year 
so that is pretty good living with someone is always going to be an adjustment but it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. A lot of people have also been asking me like, oh, have you like talked to any boys, whatever, whatever. Do you have a boyfriend yet? And I don't know why everyone like assumes that just because you started college that that means that you need to be in a relationship. And so I have not, I do not have a boyfriend and I have not really talked to anyone either. I met someone at an event and we were kind of talking but not really if you know what i'm saying but we're not talking anymore <laughs> so, so <laughs> the food in the dining hall is not the best to be honest and for when you're used to eating a very like strict regimen of like rice and beans and chicken and like i guess it's, you could even say that it's like cleaner than what they're giving me in college. But when you're used to eating all of those things, when you get to college, your stomach is like rejecting everything. So when I first moved, and even throughout the semester, I've been having this problem a lot where my stomach starts to make a lot of noise because of the food. And there was a point that I was taking like Alka-Seltzer every single day because everything in the dining hall was making me sick. And so it's definitely an awful adjustment and my roommate was actually having the same problem because she's used to the same thing she's from san juan puerto rico so she's very used to eating the same things that i am and we're both always sick and so the more that you like eat down there though and you kind of like force yourself as awful as it sounds to eat the food even if it does make you sick you definitely start your stomach starts to adjust so i haven't gotten sick in a while and then if you like try not to think about getting sick you kind of won't get sick but if you know you know like there's things that as soon as i started eating it i was like bro this is gonna make me sick and so then you can stop eating but there's other things that if you like think about it too much you can make yourself sick so that was also like a pretty pretty tough adjustment i'm gonna go back and talk about um my academics a little more because i actually forgot that i did come up with a plan so i will be staying at montclair i know that there was like some people that were asking me like oh like do you want to transfer or whatever because they know that my first semester was so difficult and i have decided that i won't be transferring i'm just going to stay there because i also plan on graduating early i did come in to college with a few credits from high school and so I decided that I'm going to graduate a year early and I only had to take like three I took one class over the winter I have to take a class next winter and then just one over the summer and then the rest of them I can just take them during the year so it's not going to be that difficult to graduate early and I'm very excited about that I don't know if I did talk to you guys about the fact that I'm also going to medical school so what I'm going to do when I graduate is that I'm going to work in my major for about a year and then apply to medical school after I get that year of experience. So I'm still a medical humanities major. I had added a minor, but I changed my mind about that because if I would have added a minor, I would have had to stay there for a whole nother semester just to complete the minor and minors are not very helpful. All right, so I'm going to do my mascara quick because I cannot do that and talk at the same time. I'm gonna do my mascara and then I will be right back. Right. So this next part is gonna go kind of fast because once I finish doing my eyeshadow, it usually takes the longest. But once I finish doing that, the rest of this only takes me like maybe five minutes. So what I've been doing lately, I'm gonna explain this, is I've been mixing these two, this matte foundation and a little bit of tinted moisturizer this matte foundation is actually a little bit too dark but the tinted moisturizer is too light and so when i mix them together they're actually like the perfect shade and i usually don't like wearing foundation however because it's so oily i've had to start using this mix So now that I've been mixing these two, it's been working out a lot better like throughout the day. My face doesn't get as oily and by the end of the day my makeup still looks fine. And so what's currently happening is I am on spring break so I will be home for about a week 
and all that I'm going to be doing is working. So I have a full-time job here where I live and then I work at American Eagle part-time now over in New Jersey. So anytime that I come home for winter or spring break or summer break, I'm going to work at Walmart. That's where I work here. And then over there, I work in American Eagle. And so I'm just going to be, I work from 11 to 8. So I don't really have time to do anything. I know that the week that I come back, I do have some tests. I have a midterm in my math class. And I have um, a midterm in my lab biology class which I think is kind of stupid, but it's okay. And I have a quiz in my biostatistics class. So I'm gonna just be studying for most of those things. And it sucks that like I'm on vacation and everything and I still have to be concerned about studying and all these different things, but it really is what it is. Like you will learn eventually too, that you just really gotta do, you have to do what you have to do. And since I'm really bent on traveling, traveling is extremely important to me and it's something that I haven't gotten to do because I don't, I haven't saved like enough money and so I'm definitely managing my money a lot better so that I'm able to travel. I know that you guys saw that I went to Puerto Rico last summer and I love it there so much like I can't even begin to explain how much I love Puerto Rico and I, how much I love their culture and their people and their food and literally everything so I really want to be able to travel there this year again after I finish my um after I finish my what is that called my year my semester I want to be able to go there. I also want to go to Panama, which is where I'm um, originally from. My family is from Panama. I was born in the United States, but my family is from Panama. And I haven't been there since I was eight years old. And most of my family is over there, like all of my cousins, my uncles, my aunts, everyone lives over there. And I haven't seen them since I was eight years old. If they haven't come to America, I haven't seen them since I was eight. And so I really want to save up so I'm able to travel there because it's actually a lot more expensive to go there than it is to go to Puerto Rico. The tickets are about, I want to say like six or seven, between six and eight hundred round trip. So that's a lot of money, but I definitely want to start to save up because I like to be able to travel and explore new cultures i'm starting like on this side of the world for right now but when i do um finish college i hope to travel other places that are like in europe and stuff like that so far the only thing that i have planned to travel this year is to texas i will be going to youth for the nations again i did go last summer and my experience was absolutely amazing and so i will be going there again but that's the only thing that I have planned for right now. So the last three things, highlighter, blush, and bronzer. This is like my favorite part because I feel like this really brings together like my whole face and my whole look. The last thing that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is I'm gonna go back, like I know that I'm like all over the place, but I'm gonna go back to talking about um, church. And so my relationship with God is very important. And I know in college, it's very difficult to keep up with your relationship with God because of how many things are going on. Like you're starting college, you're making a lot of friends who may be may or may not be bad influences. You're around a lot of people that are drinking and there's like just a lot of different things that really affect your relationship with God. And so I definitely recommend for anyone that is interested in going to church to get plugged into a community as soon as you start college because if not you get used to not going to church and then it's not going to be you're going to feel like it's not an important part of your life and so that's why i was so stressed out first semester about finding a good church community and why i was so disappointed because i ultimately wanted to you know continue to do to continue to grow like i was in a period when i had moved that i was just starting to like start propelling myself and god was just starting to 
to work and since i had gotten to that church where i was having such a difficult time it really like stunted my growth and so you definitely always want to pursue a church that you know that you're going to do better that you're not just going to go just to go but that the people that are there are going to be challenging you to challenging you to fast challenging you to pray challenging you to read the bible which is what my pastor and my spiritual brother now are doing for me they're staying connected with me and making sure that i'm like pushing myself because honestly for me to be 18 years old and to not really be used to reading the bible and to not be used to doing a lot of things it's not good and i definitely after i was like realizing that i was like wow i really need to do something about this and i'm very glad that they're like supporting me through that but god's definitely pushing me into a new season of my life where i'm going through serious transformations and serious changes and i'm like going on this journey of like inner healing and he's just been so good to me throughout all of this time and i'm very excited to keep seeing that those changes but I decided to just go with a cute little ponytail since my edges actually look pretty good today so I just have like a ponytail some hoops this is my outfit I think both my little kimono and my jumpsuit are from Ross and then my sandals are from forever 21 so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what's next and if you have any questions about anything that i've talked about today my college my church anything like that please make sure to leave them down below and i will try to answer them and also follow me on all of my social medias my instagram my twitter my vsco and my spotify will be linked down below and i will see you guys next week